writing any document with the help of ai tools is just a single click job you just have to give the command press the button and a full fledged ai written content is in front of you that can either be your any kind of academic document or any kind of a blog post or a content which you are writing to fulfill your content writing needs but the problem arises specifically for the people who are in academia that when you have to pass your document through a tough tools like turnitin or original AI to check the AI and plagiarism detection and this is the point where you have to prove that your document is totally written by you there is no AI written content and no plagiarism your content is not a stolen content basically and and you feel stuck at this point being a person who, who is new with these AI tools there, there is a big problem to deal with these high percentage of AI detection and plagiarism in your document I have recommend multiple AI tools which are really going to help you to bypass your this process on a single click the way you generate your content with the help of ai tools to making them ai detection free is as easy you just have to use these tools these can either be a bypass gpt hicks bypass or the tool which i'm going to review today that is bypass ai these tools are not only going to make your document ai detection and plagiarism free but they are also going to increase the quality of your document you can enhance the creativity and enhance the professional writing style in your document by using some feature of these tools but to understand the potential of bypass ai that how it is going to make your document ai detection free we have to run some checks on it and for that purpose we will generate some content from any open ai that can either be a perplexity chat gpt or google bard and then we will rephrase it by bypass ai and then we will check the reports in turnitin and originality AI which are very legitimate tools and paid tools and give you accurate result about AI detection in your document. So for example we ask Google Bard what are the key features of finding clickers and we come up with this detail we just copy this detail go to our tool for today that is bypass AI you can even make a run of 100 words in its free version but to go for its paid version definitely you have to check the pricing details and then you have to select the plan according to your feasibility and after selecting the plan you can use its paid features also so it's a simple three step process you just have to copy the content which you want to humanize and after opening the tool just press paste the text and your whole text will be pasted over here and here you can use the mode to enhance the quality of your document to make it standard or to keep it simple so for example we press enhanced and after pressing enhanced we will press the button to humanize this content which is totally written by google bard so when the content will be rewritten by bypass ai it will run a check on the content with all these tools to check that either this content is being detected as a human written content or an ai written content and we can see that according to the check of bypass ai our content is 100% human written according to the reports of all these ai detection tools but we have to go for a manual check definitely and we will paste this uh, content into our google doc file we have to check the word count uh, for turnitin to generate a report from turnitin our content should be at least of 300 words as this content is a 280 words we have to increase the number of words rephrasing from bypass gpt we will go to turnitin and originality ai and these both tools are considered as a legitimate tools to check ai detection and these both are paid tools and their reports are being considered authentic in academic and corporate world so we will open turnitin and go to the quick submit and we'll submit our file over here The name of the file is bypass AI. We will upload the file, confirm it's uploading and check its report by going into assignment inbox. Meanwhile, we are going to copy the content and paste it in originality AI. While originality AI is generating the report, our report with the Turnitin is ready to read. We will see that the detected plagiarism is a 0% with the content which have been written by bypass AI. And now it's time to check the AI detection by Turnitin. So according to the report of the Turnitin, the content which have been written by 
by OpenAI, Google Bard. You can even write from Perplexity and ChatGPT and you will get the same kind of results. The plagiarism of the content which have been written by Bypass AI is zero. And in the same way, AI detection is again 0%. So in this way, you can get your content from with the help of uh, open AI tools and you can rewrite it with Bypass AI and you will get a document with 0% plagiarism and 0% AI detection. In the same way, we will check the report of Originality AI, which is also showing that our document is 99% original. So there is a trick to deal with these AI bypass tools like bypass AI or Hicks bypass or bypass GPT then sometimes it happens that on a single writing your document may come with any kind of a percentage of AI or plagiarism detection. If your document show any kind of AI detection the simple rule to deal with it is to is to rewrite that content again with these AI tools. After rewriting it with the, these AI tools second time and in very less cases third time your document ultimately come up with a 0% AI detection and 0% plagiarism if you feel any kind of issue while using bypass AI or any kind of AI tools during your academic writing you can write your issue in the comment section and if you found this video useful don't forget to share it with your other fellows or colleagues who are looking for this kind of help if you find any kind of a difficulty while writing your academic documents you can take our services at the website given below we'll see you in another video till the take care of yourselves bye bye